Some some quests do not have time limits, but some do. And I don't know which ones are which, so yeah, be careful. Oh, we're just about to go to the cave. Right Hell here, yeah. My friend. Okay, real quick, uh, just as a quick heads up, because I know there was a lot of people this morning in here that may have no idea what I'm doing. This is Pathfinder Kingmaker. In my opinion, this is one of the best CRPGs since Baldur's Gate 2. Uh, we've been having a really fun time playing this game. We're currently working through our second playthrough because our first playthrough got blocked on Act 5 because when this game released, there were a lot of bugs. It's been about six months since release. The devs, Owlcat, have kicked absolute ass. They have been patching the game. There's two DLCs in now. It is a completely different experience. And uh, shout out to the devs because they did a great job. So we're currently playing a second playthrough as a ranger and we're working our way back up to where I was in the first game. We still got a while to go, um, but yeah. Uh, Ko, do you accept BAT for tips? I don't, but what I would, what you can do is if you ever, and, and I recommend this greatly, if you have that kind of stuff that you'd like to tip, uh, give it to a charity. Give it to a charity that accepts it and, uh, and, and let me know that you did it in the channel. And that's essentially the same as tipping me. So I, I appreciate it just as much. So that's the best I can I can give, unfortunately. I don't personally accept it, but yeah, uh, there have been people that have done that, and I am all, all for it. All according to plan. Okay, let's heal up real quick. I'm listening. What is he talking about? Oh, he means like Bitcoin, crypto cryptocurrency. Yeah, yeah, that's what he was talking about. I'm pretty sure. I think. What act are we on right now? We are currently at the time. end of Act 3. We're working towards the end of Act 3. A perception check. That's a bit weird. All right, let's go. Save it. Go. Okay, so in this area, we think there's some bandits, but we're not really sure what's going on. There's some nice stuff. Um, I did it. That is I not did. far. Where are the enemies? Oh, I'll be damned. That beast again? No, these are new strangers. I bet they want to take away our loot. They're messing with the wrong men. We fighting? Cause I'll fight. I'm not afraid. Damn, that's a lot of people. Um, uh oh. All right, pull back a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and drop a haste on the team. Smile it on back. Valerie up. No, smile it on. Go back. Val, you go up. Oh, that's not what I meant. That's okay. Okay, that was a mess and a half. Uh, Val, go up here. Do this. Knock, knock, you go for him. Ooh. He just drained a level from the Smilodon? Be easier if you not fight back. Yeah. That hurt? Me see. Me keep. Great. Let the range guys take care of this dude. Boop. Beautiful. Yeah, Knock Knock's kind of a monster now. Kinda loving him. Right, let's see, let's save it. Done and done. A slicer. What is this? Oh, it's a runic mage blade. When you have a touch spell charged, the weapon enhancement bonus is plus two better than its actual bonus. So it become a plus four. Damn, dude. Ooh. Cypress Queen's Quill. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe part of a set. That's a lot of pot, chat. That's a lot of pot. Uh, okay, here we go. 
Water and sludge still drip from this huge stone block, which has obviously been dredged from the lake bottom recently. Upon closer examination, it looks like a huge chest, or rather a sarcophagus. One side bears an engraved symbol, a skull with a single eye socket, and the eye socket is covered with a coin. You can see it right there. Examine the exterior of the sarcophagus. The engraving on the side of the sarcophagus resembles the symbol of Charon, the horseman of death. Uh, but Charon's symbol usually has two eye sockets, each covered by a coin, while the symbol here only has one. There's nothing more you can tell about the sarcophagus except that it's ancient. Okay. Detect magic. Magic presence here is obvious. You can sense powerful necromancy energies, but can't figure out the specific spells used here. Oh, it's Charon? It's not Charon? Charon. Okay, oh, can I move my camera chair? Uh, search for a keyhole or easier means to open the sarcophagus. You have no idea where the sarcophagus came from, but you know enough about enchantments to know that there must be an easy way to open it. Experimenting with the engravings in various combinations, you discover that when you press your finger against the skull symbol with your hand on the lid, the cover slides aside easily. Your triumph is short-lived, however. As the lid slides open, there's a sound of something, something huge stirring within the sarcophagus. You hear a rattling whisper, whistle, like air pushed through a leaky bellows and scraps of flesh fly from the sarcophagus. Whatever's inside is huge, angry, and far from dead. <laughs> I shall end this suffering. Repent! Oh my. Avenge me. Hey, can someone help me? All according to plan. Don't hesitate. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. <laughs> Let us strike as one. Consider me provoked. We may have to buff up, like, completely for this. Okay, he just killed every single one of the zombies. Except that one. That was pretty awesome. Oh! Oh, wait, time out. Oh, wait. Everyone's dead? Where's Val? Val, what are you doing? What the sin? Why are you down here? Oh, God, Val, what have you? Also, did this not work? Did Breath of Life not work? What? Oh, to get... Oh, he failed a con check. Um... Oh, he is so dead. He is so dead. I don't even know why I'm bothering. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he is so dead. All right, that was good, though. Get it, getting her up there and doing her thing was good. I don't know why she, like, immediately ran down to the south. I thought she would have stuck in the main guy, but still was a lot better. Um, yeah. Let's do this. Quiet. I'm you, thinking. Okay. Focus on the goal. I could do some summons and stuff, but I don't know if this is the only fight in here, so I'm not, like, wanting to waste all of our tricks. Um. Oh, we failed. Okay. Rude. Um. Oh, she got feared. That's what happened. She got feared. Okay. 
Thank you, chat. That makes more sense. All right, let's try this again with a little bit less suck. Um... Actually, you know what? Let's use this on both of these. Yes. You can count on me. Okay, save it. Here we go. I'm listening. Boom. Doing a live, boys. Hey, Double V, how you doing, bud? Uh, this is Act 3. Yeah, we're working through it. Well, this is actually Two, after the main three. Act 3 stuff, and we're Let kind of working on uh, other things right now. A clever ploy. Uh. Left yourself open. Great. Yeah, Val is like super fear, but this guy's also almost dead. We got him. We got him. Great. Awesome. All right. All according to plan. Up. Oh, cat went down, but that's okay. That's okay. We can rest. A great axe plus one? That's it? Oh, and 180 experience. That's not bad. Okay. Man, that was a really tough fight for that. She's feared for 30 more seconds. Not oh, rude. In due time. Hey, dudes. What's up, buddy? Thank you, Goldilock. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Babu. See if there's anything over here. Nope. What's the holdup? Mm -hmm. All right. So now we have to go talk to uh, the the nymph and let her know that we killed the ancient cyclops, and hopefully that'll be good for her. And then we have to figure out what the hell we're doing with Ivar. Ivar is the, uh, the local hunter that claims to be able to talk to the silver dragon. But we know for a fact that it doesn't exist. So we need to figure out what the hell's going on with that. Where is this little nymph? I want to say she's over here. Maybe. Mm-mm. Oh, Moon Eyes. No, no, no. It's 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 both. As it should it's be. new in both. Yeah, for sure. Will I be playing Days Gone? I will. All right, save it. You're back. Did you take care of that box? The problem solved. There was a monster in the box, a Cyclops, but he's dead now. The Nixie throws her hands up in joy. You did it! I have to tell my family as soon as possible. Once I tell them what you did, they'll understand that not all strangers are bad. A Cyclops, huh? I doubt any of us could have dealt with that. I'd say you earned yourself a reward. Thanks? 300 experience, 650 gold, a gold ring, and some peridots. Peridots. Peridots? Peridots? Nice. Not bad. Indeed. Not bad. All right, where's Ivar's house? I think this is it? Let's go check Ivar's house. Thanks for that zoom. Hey, my pleasure, buddy. My pleasure. This requires your attention. Save it. Footprints on the wet. All according to plan. Soil near the hut lead north. Okay. We're going north, boys. I found something interesting. It is finished. The bark falling off the tree indicates that someone ran along the trunk with amazing agility. On the other side of the tree trunk, you can see human footprints. They lead north. Okay. This requires your attention. A trivial matter. 
More footprints leading north. Oddly, they look bigger now and have a slightly different shape. Where's the cat? There we go. Follow my lead. I found something interesting. Um a trivial matter. The footprints lead to an inconspicuous animal path that leads deeper into the woods. Item unlocked, Silver Step Grove. All right. How did I do that? Oh, I'm a witch. You know, standard stuff. Mm. Cool. Mm. <laughs> By the way, I saw the whisper from the person that wants me to play less outward and more Pathfinder. I appreciate the feedback. But actually, what you just said is the reason that I'm playing Pathfinder a couple hours a day. A part of me wants to play Outward all day, every day. But I also want to keep the Pathfinder playthrough going. So that's one of the reasons we're playing it right now. <laughs> it's because I want to keep it up. Uh, but thank you, and I always appreciate the feedback. Uh, let's save it first. <laughs> Nuriel says, Co, play Pathfinder all day, every day. Hashtag Team Lindsay. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm loving this Pathfinder run. I mean, it's it's. In there's a reason time. I'm playing this over Sekiro. Um, I am having a great time with this run. Just great. It's just fun to play this game. I just like being in this game world. Like, it's just, it's such a great experience. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Or maybe I, well, this let's see how much we can get. It. We may be able to get through Enemy this without approaching. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, good. And then he, of course, trips her immediately. A calculated um, risk. Uh, oh. Boom! Not used to lighting enemies on fire first. Uh oh. No, no. All of you get on Repent. him. Val, you go back here. Knock, you stay on him. Oh, back. come on, come on, come on. And go! Yes! Alright, pull it back here. Do not I didn't even oh, God. break a sweat. Man, it's tough to balance all these, like. Come here, Bax. Okay, come not gonna stab you. Oh, Ko, love it. Here comes the heal. I really need to get... I need to get the feet that we just got on Ekin on Ko. My hand. The, the, what, it's like enhanced precise strike or something? Damn, it's getting stormy. Yeah, I really need to get that on Ko. Jesus. That is not How nice far. does that rain sound, by the way? I just want to sit on like my front porch in rain like this and chill and just relax. As it should be. Vaniel. I I will look into that, my dude. Thank you. I love Jubilast. He's fantastic. How old am I? I am 34 years old, I think. Last I checked. How may I help? Can I turn ASMR on? Oh, sure, you want ASMR? There you go. Are you having a good time yet? Was that good? That's how you do that, right? I'm pretty sure that's how you do that. Okay. 
That's the stuff? Oh, yeah, there we go. You just got ASMR. That's right. Yeah, you did. Okay, uh, Ivar, what's up, dude? What are we doing? What is this? Don't come closer. Don't. How can I stop it? It's too strong. Too strong. We will prevail. Oh. Onwards. Buddy's a werewolf. Oh, nope. Oh god, that's Ko, not Valerie. I have made a huge mistake. Um Quick, summon a Dargan! Oh, you're tripped. Oh, this is so not good. This was not part of the plan. Stay no, it was not. Me. Um Oh, so many mistakes. I'm getting killed here. There you are. You need to heal. Um. All my knowledge. All my genius. Are you dead again? Damn, bro. This is for you. Uh, let's bring it back up. Right all over myself. Huh. This is a messy fight. These wolves are really... Are these all alphas? Oh, they're all alphas. Jesus. These are like bosses most of the time. Oh, he tripped him as he was casting his heal. Yeah, we got to prepare for this. This is nuts. Seven Lee says, do you have selective channeling for Tristian? Yeah, he comes with it, dude. Yeah. Hey, Meow Meow. How you doing, bud? All yeah, he, he to totally plan. comes with selective channeling. That's part of his kit. All right, here we go. Save it. Um, so, any brilliant ideas? Any more, Quiet. I'm thinking. How may I help? I am prepared. I'm Hope that fight back. Best kind of fight. Let us fight again. The werewolf's powerful body shrinks and contorts. The beastly feature tra features transform into the face of Ivar, the hunter. There are deep wounds all over his body. So this is how it finally ends. You defeated him. That is enough. Stay your hand. Do not let anger control you. Tristian looks at the werewolf, sadness in his eyes. Please, at least speak with him before passing your sentence. Tell me the truth about what happened to you. Let it be my last fairy tale, then. Once upon a time, there lived a stupid young hunter named Ivar. He loved his family, his wife, his son, his little daughter, very much. He also loved making up fairy tales for his children. But one night, he came up with a foolish story, one about a silver dragon that can only be spotted if he climbed to the top of a high cliff as the new moon rises. That very night, the children st snuck out of the house, and their bodies were found at the base of the cliff the next morning. His poor wife's heart couldn't bear the loss. Lisa, she was gone soon after. So Ivar cursed himself, cursed his own blabbering tongue and reckless mind. Standing near the graves of his family, he could only mutter to himself over and over, I'm a monster, I'm a monster. Then he felt the self-inflicted curse begin to melt him from the inside, burning him, turning him into a beast. He became a werewolf, sworn to protect the village, to honor the memory of Lisa and his children. He wanted to serve people, to bring them good instead of evil, at least once. And if you called yourself a pig, you'd have grown a snout. That's exactly why it's so important to always think of yourself in only the best light. <laughs> okay. Um, right to spare you, what would you do? I stopped looking to the future long ago, but, but I don't think I belong here anymore, especially if people discover the truth. Were you to spare my life? I'd leave. I'd leave and try to find a new reason to live. So how exactly did you serve people? There's always someone trying to take from the villagers, be it their property or their lives. Many's the villain who be who's become food for worms in the nearby woods. The only danger I haven't gained much ground against is the gang holed up in a nearby cave. I started hunting them, but it seems I've run out of time to finish the job. Tell me about the gang. Planning a visit, Ivar smirks. The gang's not big, but they're well-trained. 
They're very familiar with the woods around here. They've made a den in one of the caves to the west through the lake. It isn't far. Um, why not work for me? Lay down the title of Dragon's Voice and become the Baron's Voice for the people. Sorry, Baron, but no. I'm not interested in working for anyone else. Besides, the village would never accept me if they learned who I really am. So please, just finish me off or let me go. The choice is yours. I'm not going to kill you, bro. Ivar stands holding his wound on his side. I was not expecting mercy, but I'm certainly grateful for it. Tristian lowers his head. I hope you can come to terms with your loss. May Saren Ray's light guide you. Tristian turns to you. Thank you for showing mercy. Octavia is shaking slightly after all that happened. Thank you for giving him a chance. I hear there's a cure for lycanthropy. Good luck to you, Ivar. Head forward, then take to the right. And if you're looking for work, my advice would be to find a traveling circus. I'm sure you'd fit right in. Oh, you would definitely know, Jubilos, being the local clown and all. Ooh. Go and try to forgive yourself if you can. Ivar bows slightly, then winces in pain. A word in parting, if I may, Baron. Consider it my werewolf instincts talking. I can tell you, you'll be the subject of stories and legends yourself soon, and I'm sure they'll be told far and wide across the land. Now, whether they'll be tales of terror or of hope, well, that will be up to you. Man, what a great, great area. That's awesome. This this whole area, uh, Silver Step in general, is such a cool place. All right, let's take a quick look around here. Make sure we didn't miss anything. I don't think we did. Mm -hmm. Looking for perception checks and stuff. All right, let's go. Now, is that all of the Silver Step line? Yeah. That was it. Great. That was that was everything. We're going to go back real quick, though, and talk to that guy uh, and tell him about the thing. Uh, Barry, yes. Yes. My XP was running away. Oh, no, those are my summons, but thank you. Thank you. I can't stop watching you play this game. It's basically an unending movie. I know, right? This, this is such such a fun game. Uh, yeah, I think we are ready to go home. What's in the ancient mine? Let's go find out. Total darkness. Give the order. Right, there we go. Now we're not really sitting too pretty and being ready to handle many big fights, so that is not far. So let's see how this goes. Oh god, mistakes were made. Alright, um... Yeah, let's not use fire against the fire dragon. Or, you know, do it. That's fine, too. Actually, it's even better, also. Damn, dude, this thing's got some hit points. Damn it, it poisons. I can't keep this up much longer. Go, go. Yowza. Uh, cure that quick. Did it work? Shit. It didn't work. Um, I am yours to command. Oh, no. Uh, this would work, though. Hold on. If I can do this fast enough. Right here, my friend. Oh, we're already out. Yes. Right, there's that, and there's that. Oh, minus four con. Come on, man. I've been taught if someone annoys you, you either pray or polish your armor. It is why my armor gleams as it does. That didn't help, did it? 
Oof. Um. Oh wait. Maybe it is okay. Yeah, it's not. It's no longer. It's no longer doing the check. So it is okay. Okay. Oof, though. Um. In due time. Property of the house Trestrim. Can we go in here? Oh no, we can't even go in here. Oh, All so that was the whole area. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, so let's see. We're gonna want to get Something that con back. Uh, restoration. Cures all temporary ability damage. Great. Let's pop out this. Pop a restoration there for our next rest. And that'll cure up Val. Do a quick look around here to make sure we didn't miss any items. I don't think we did. Delay doesn't cure poison. Yes, but if you noticed, it didn't do another check. So even though the poison buff stayed on Valerie, it's the poison stopped doing the constitution damage check. So it doesn't cure the poison, but it does prevent it from doing more damage. Yep. No, there's no mini-map in this game. There, there's a big map. Did I talk to the people in the village? No, not yet. Uh, we're going to be back over to this side of the map later, though. So I think we're going to... Well, we can stop by Silver Step again. But I kind of need to get back into town, to be honest. Because I think we have a couple big checks coming up. And I need to rest. I need to sell and a bunch of other things. So, Ah, damn it. Oh, please don't be a fail. Please don't be a fail. Oh, oh! Oh, I can claim Silver Step. Perfect. Perfect. Let's go do that, like, right now. There we go. How much does it cost? Three seventy-five. Ah! So expensive.